comes the money. Money, 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 money. You wanted to see me, Shane? Oh, no. Money, 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 money. Oh, hey, there you are. Just the guy I've been looking for. Yeah, I got a message that you had something important to tell me. So what's the deal? Well, I've got some very exciting news for you. Effective immediately, you've been traded from Raw to SmackDown. Traded? I'm what the champion. For? Did I get on someone's bad side or something? No, exactly the opposite. I represented Raw in this deal. And let me tell you, Teddy Long was willing to give up like half his roster to get you at SmackDown. He's convinced that a superstar like yourself, well, that's exactly what Teddy needs to take SmackDown to the top. Well, I guess I can't argue with that. And I'd love a chance to wear that world heavyweight title around my waist. Hey, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens sooner rather than later. So on behalf of Raw, let me be the first to congratulate you on a new career as a SmackDown superstar. Well, on behalf of SmackDown, let me be the first to offer Raw my condolences on officially becoming the number two brand in sports entertainment. Later, Shano. What's good, Internet? My name is a tax lug. And welcome back to my play of WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 for the Xbox 360 later that night on SmackDown. Holla holla. What is even... I'm the WWE Champion. I want it fighting the big show. Am I still the champion or do they take it away from me? What the... By the order of the board of directors, your title is property of Raw and cannot accompany you to SmackDown. They screwed me again. They got us again, Shivani. However, upon vacating the WWE title, you'll be awarded the World Heavyweight title. That's not how titles work. You can't just say, oh, now you're on SmackDown. Like, who was the World Champion on SmackDown? What happened to him? There is no wrestling context in which that makes any sense at all. But now I'm on SmackDown, so let's see who my first feud, first opponent, first whatever is going to be as... Again, I hit begin weekend and did nothing. Uh... As your new, new world heavyweight champion. A new leaf. So we're going to play Animal Crossing or what's the deal here? Attack Slug versus, I'm assuming that's Hardcore Holly. Not just Hardcore, but who knows? We'll find out here. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Friday Night SmackDown. This is Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside. Oh and what a way to start the show with our world heavyweight champion. I gotta say, I'm impressed with this guy. I've said it before and I'll say it again. He's exactly the champ SmackDown needs to compete with Raw. And we'll be seeing him in action tonight in a non-title match with Hardcore Holly. Sure. This all makes perfect sense. Perfect logical sense. You didn't have a champion on SmackDown, therefore you traded me, took the belt, and then gave me the other belt. That does not happen. That does not happen. I'm sorry. Anyway, that's really weird. Hardcore Holly! But hey, I appreciate the game actually has different announcers on different shows. Looking at you, 2K18. Uh, and you have different ring announcers on different shows. I'm hoping maybe that they'll have, you know, JoJo on, on Raw and uh, what's his face? I can't remember his name on, on SmackDown. Um, that, that'd that be nice, but I have a feeling that's not going to be the case. So, hey... Attention to detail from, you know, 11 years ago is what it is. Anyway, it is Sunday. We are here to discuss wrestling. There is not much going on in the world of wrestling news because you know it's a slow news day when my news here involves GFW and house show stuff. Like, that's just the slowest of news days having to discuss that, that kind of thing uh, on this show. But... That's kind of what I got here. So first and foremost, first and a foremost, we have GFW uh, having some house shows with some pretty poor, or no, live events or something, or they were they were taping Impact Live and the attendance was uh, pitiful, which you know that's kind of what they did when they did shows last time. It was not exactly uh, a great turnout uh, on those shows. So that's kind of sad. Um, because it is important to have other 
companies that do wrestling that are competitors for WWE. That is an important thing to have. You don't want Vince having the monopoly that he currently has because that's just rough for, er for everyone involved. Like, the best and hottest part of the business, the, the most uh, uh, dominant side or the, the most financially successful time during the Attitude Era when you had two major companies that were battling head-to-head. -head. So not having that is a shame. So I don't want Impact to go away. Uh, but man, they're just, uh, they've just been doing some dumb stuff. And speaking of dumb stuff, speaking of the dumbest stuff, uh, that, that was kind of my, my other GFW news story, doing the most TNA thing imaginable. And so they had taped some stuff before GFW was part of TNA, and they kind of took that name, which was uh, a couple of years ago. They, they were just, it was being shopped around circa 2015-ish, right? They taped a bunch of shows in, like, Las Vegas to try to sell to, you know, network TV or, you know, as a brand, et cetera, et cetera, right? And those shows had a bunch of guys who were independent guys at the time or who were part of TNA or whatever. It was kind of like a weird mishmash of guys that they were trying to say, oh, well, they're going to be part of GFW. And that roster, that roster, included guys like Kurt Hawkins, included guys like Bobby Roode, at the time not in NXT yet. It included the Bio Boys, aka the Sing Bros. It included, you know, Mickey James. There were just so many people that were, you know, either in the current TNA or in the indies or wherever um, that were not in WWE, who are all currently in WWE. Not, you know, n n n not everyone, but, you know, you get what I'm, you get what I'm saying. Um, that now that they have a TV deal, um, because they're, you know, merged with Impact, uh, they're airing these Amped, they're, 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 be, they're, 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 they're being called Amped Anthologies, right? And these anthologies, um, whoa, hardcore, huh? that's, that's a DQ, he's hardcore. Um, these anthologies are from 2015, right? But they're trying to sell them as being current. Because if you watch the YouTube clips of Bobby Roode, right? It's like, what's he doing here? Like, they're trying to play it up like it's Scott Hall going into WCW, right? They're trying to, oh my god, he's defected. We're not sure why he's here. Like, no, we know why he's here. This was 2015, you shysters. You absolute, just, it is total scumbag move of them trying to play up that, oh, we have NXT guys and WWE guys. Like, no, you don't. This was taped two years ago when they were still in, in you know, other places and we're not currently under WB contract. But be because it's pre-existing footage, they can use it because they legally own it. Like, I get that. But recording what sounds like new audio, it, it sounds like they recorded this audio specifically to try to play up this whole situation. And that's messed up. Come on now. That's just... It's the epitome. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. The epitome. I'm, I'm mis mispronouncing words today. The epitome of TNA being TNA and wondering why they're floundering. Anyway, T-Bone to Hardcore Holly. Gonna hit that slug quarter again. Again. Um, anyway, uh, elsewhere we have apparently Brandy Rhodes no longer being uh, involved with TNA. Um, well, I'm sorry, GFW. Uh, because apparently she got some kind of a job at a non-wrestling TV thing, and they didn't want to work with her on that. So, that's a shame. Um, but Cody's already been gone, and Hardcore Holly has already been gone. I want better competition, or else. Well, at least I get announced by Tony Chemmel. That's cool. JBL. The hey, big Jim. bully himself. I've been meaning to tell you how happy I am that we've got such an outstanding man such as yourself as our world heavyweight what champion. Is that in I'll tell you what, gross. SmackDown what hasn't had such a noble champion with such a bright future since, well... Let me guess, me. since you were champ? Oh, I don't like to talk about myself. Besides, this is your time My now. Time. Let me tell you what, if there's anything you need, anything at all, you just come to your buddy JBL. You hear me? Actually, there is something. I just found out from our general manager, Teddy Long, that I've got a tag team match against Hardcore oh. Holly and Ken Kennedy next week. 
And... And you need a partner, right? Say no more, champ. JBL's got your back. I'll see you next week, pal. That wasn't my question, JBL. Tess, you don't believe for a second that JBL is actually sincere in his praise for the champion, do you? Ah, uh, come on. Cut him some slack, Cole. Why are you always thinking the worst about people? Also, what the hell was that green pile of whatever it was in catering? Who's eating that? Seriously. Hey, champ. It's me, JBL, John Bradshaw Layfield. Listen, I just wanted to tell you that I can't wait for our tag team match against Holly and Mr. Kennedy. And don't worry, pal. I'm not about to let anything happen to our world heavyweight champion. And you can take that to the bank. Boy, oh boy. So excited to get right into a JBL storyline. Alright, let's have this completely meaningless tag team match, player. I mean, it is SmackDown, so, of course. Sucking up to the world heavyweight champion the way he has, but I don't buy this new Mr. Nice Guy act for a second. I seem to remember how JBL abused his power almost every week that he was the champion here on SmackDown. Jeez, Cole, can you be a little bit more cynical? Lighten up, buddy. People change, you know? I mean, look at you. Sometimes you like to put a little frost in your hair. Sometimes you like to grow a little beard. You're a little freaky. You're a weirdo. Doesn't do anything for you, though. Regardless, Savage, I'm not Taz. People can't change. Savage. I'm just saying JBL's got a lot of convincing to do before I buy it. The wrestling god. I hope the champ isn't making a big mistake here. Teaming up I with am. JBL I like am. this. Only you could figure that teaming up with the longest running WWE champion of the last decade would be a mistake. We'll see. I guess it all depends on how badly JBL wants another run with a world title, Taz. I mean, if you don't want a run with a world title, then you shouldn't be in the business. Come on now. Kennedy! Kennedy! Now, here's a match I really don't care about. Anyway, um, speaking of house shows, though, Speaking of house shows, uh, there was a house show in Montreal last night, uh, and Kevin Owens came to the rescue, uh, of Sami Zayn and Pat Patterson, uh, and I should mention, they were in Montreal, so the crowd went absolutely bananas for that stuff, and they were, it was, basically it was Jinder and, uh, the Singh bros were kind of causing some trouble, as they do, because they're heels. And, uh, yeah, so having him not immediately beat up Sami Zayn, uh, was people just freaked out as he came to the rescue, so that was pretty cool. Um, but as we know, house shows are basically fan fiction. They're not canon unless a mysterious change of a belt happens, or I'm sorry, a title happens, a championship, um, like at Madison Square, uh, Square, Square Garden with... AJ and the US title, they don't acknowledge things that happen at house shows. And playing up to your hometown crowd is also a cool thing to do. Uh, but I guess it's also kind of funny because Jinder is actually Canadian, but, you know, that's kind of not the point here. But, yeah. Good times. Good times. Neck breaker. We immediately here go into... Oh, no. Or we don't because Hardcore Holly is hardcore. Really? Really? Uh, JBL, how about you help me out here? Tend to just get punched in the face. One of the two. JBL, you're the worst. I've had some pretty bad tag team partners here, but JBL, uh, you're up there already. You're already up there in being completely and totally incompetent. Now, obviously, JBL wants that, that belt, so he's gonna be purposely incompetent, but how about you actually attack somebody, JBL, instead of just standing there like a goof. Oh. Did I hit? Did I lose the slug exploder? No, Holly. I didn't say you could tag out. I didn't say you could tag out. At what point did I say you could tag out? JBL, do a thing. Good God Almighty, do a thing. You're the worst. First of all, that was in a, a rope break. You were nowhere, nowhere near the ropes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oops. I did it again. I did it again! The worst. Can't get up. No, Mr. Kennedy. Oh! All the way to the outside. All the way! Nope. This isn't going to be a problem, but if I get counted out, it's going to be a problem. 
I mean, not not really, because you know. Oh, knee to the face, viciousness. Um, yeah, he broke the count, so we're kind of good here. Double count out. Double count out. Kennedy. Kennedy. Back in the ring. Yeah, JBL, just call the count out. I would be okay with that. I would be okay with that. Get back in your corner, Kennedy. Get back in your corner. JBL, hit that. Hit that close eye from hell. Do it. Do it. Keep beating him up. Keep beating him up. Nine. Ten. We did it. Count out victory. Count out victory. Okay, sure. I'll take it. And cutscene. That's right. I'm the champ. The, the champ is here. Where's, J where's JBL and Hardcore Holly? They're just like, nope. Not fun. What's Kennedy up to? I don't know, but... JBL damn near took Kennedy's head off. With an entirely unprovoked attack, mind you. JBL hasn't changed one bit. Paul, what are you talking about? You saw Kennedy? He was about to attack the champ. Yeah, that was what was happening, right? That was what was going to happen. What if Kennedy was in on it? Considering all of the conspiracies that have happened to me in the past, you know, several wrestling games, I don't trust anybody. DTA. JBL has assured me that he just misread the situation. Hey champ, looks like Teddy Long's put me on the shelf for a week after the Good. little incident that happened after our match last week. Can't say as I blame him. I guess I must have shown a little uh, irrational exuberance out there. Must have been the crowd that got me all fired up. Did you hear them cheering for us last week? We were like a couple of a wrestling uh, gods. Anyway, I can't wait to work together again soon. Good luck out there tonight. When you're the champ, you don't have any friends. And certainly not a snake like JBL. But we shall see if he betrays me tomorrow on Moveset Monday. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. I'll see you next time. Right here on this channel. And I'm out.